What is going on, everybody? General G here. General G and Laura Croft in Jonah. And today we are going to be continuing the adventure as we try to find our next route here. Let's see. Hey, Jonah, you want to give me Jonah, a hand? Help me with this. Hey, bossy. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Uh, this playthrough. Oh gosh, right back into it. You killed my buddy. Scramble. I didn't see what that said. Where'd he go? Good grief, scramble! Oops. I don't think we got it. <laughs> oh gosh. Did he kill us? I thought we had to hit E right at the end. Stay down. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Laura, are you okay? Oh, yeah, we're good. Too bad we can't skin that guy. Yeah, okay. Jonah. Yeah, Jonah. We're good. We're good. We're good, Jonah. Got a little scratch on my back, but that's nothing. Your back looks bad. I'm going to go make camp. We're so close to the village. Well, we're gonna make camp first. We gotta heal up a little bit after that uh, excitement. And catch more of the story here. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <sighs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him. 
from my father, from himself. But I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, the right time, he would still be here. Hmm. Wonder what happened to him. Eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> Dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Mm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, it's intense. And lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's it's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. Subtle smile. <laughs> I like this friendship. Okay. To claim her treasure. The adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your math homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. Math homework. In a minute, Dad! Right? Yeah, in a minute. Math homework. That just sucks. All right, well, now we get to play as a young Lara. The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. What do we have? Let's go look. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. A small game piece. This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here in the playground? You, I think Laura could probably answer that because she probably brought it there. Hello, bird. Different things to look around. Totally accurate, for the most part. Oh, nice. Practicing your archery. So we just want to do a little bit of exploring real quick. Let's look at this. Just a little bit of art. <laughs> Tea and crumpets, anybody? One lump or two. Rabbit. I know we gotta go upstairs for this. Let's explore in here. There's all kinds of little things that we need to. Well. There we go. 
The letter from Dad to Winston. I've Churchill? Talked about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. And math homework. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Ooh. Winston? Better watch it. Watch your language. Nice. There's little clues we need to find. Those are upstairs. The White Queen. Locked away, but not forgotten. Correct. Looking for clues. Looking the for clues. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. So, it seems that even as a young child, Laura was... Preparing for this, so we need to go upstairs. Yeah, Winston, you better watch it. Watch what you say. This is cool, man. Imagine having a rope. Imagine having something like this when you were a kid. That's cool. Okay, we'll look over there in a minute. Like we need, something up there in we the need to get it up there. A test of skill. Our hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. Well, let's go across. <laughs> Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Lava. Laura's lava. Need to go get those bowls. <laughs> Jump, Laura. <laughs> Did we make it up there? Maybe. Have to do better. Okay, so we need. Hopefully that, that other one stayed up there. There's one there if we need one. I don't know how many we need. Hold on to your bowls. Yep, that other one's up there. Good. A photo from our trip. I think this is from when we walked the El Memsha. I don't remember much. Except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mum looks so happy. So does Dad. Dad looks happier than Mum. Is that all? Is that the only thing we've got? Does it keep turning us? Ugh. Are we actually turning, Laura? <laughs> Is there anything in here? Amazing. The pit it's of despair. Chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. Millennia. Oh, we could have gone down the slide. We should have done that. Let's do that. Let's go down the slide. Before we go back and do our bloody... Math homework. Yeah! The floor gives way! Lara tumbles into the darkness. Where's my bow and arrow? Go get that rabbit. A letter from Winston to Dad. Sir, I understand 
around, these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realise it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer. Hmm. Well, Dad, what do you have to say for yourself? Anything else around here? Anything more to examine? The heck was that? I know we need to climb up here, but we'll go look around, make sure that there's not something else. Look at this. Is that a box of apples or is that tomatoes? <laughs> Nothing. Some dainty garden gloves. Anything? Anything? Nothing? Oh, examine. What was it, Dad said? Carnations first appeared. Where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. Okay. Anything else of note? Oh, brave Sir Knight, victim of the King's curse, doomed to stand vigil, warning away others from the forbidden tomb. From Croft Manor. gates are well guarded. There's a reason our hero doesn't use the front door. Indeed, indeed. <sighs> Let's just make sure there's not a little something more. Fresh graves. The king does not take kindly to trespassers. <laughs> well? Shall we climb? Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Okay, let's go, Lara. Come on. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. Imagine being a kid. Imagine being a kid and climbing up this way. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Indeed. Look at this manor. Hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. The rusty old gutter. <coughs> Our hero spies another entrance. Get out of here, bird. Scram. Careful now, careful. Dad'll never hear that. Almost there. Uh. 
she recovers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. Now, this is... These parapets are damaged. She'll have to score Obviously, three. dad parenting skills right here. Anything around? She's so close. She can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Yeah, the, the very tippy top of the roof. Ugh. This Our is... This adventurer has reached the summit. Very wise. Very wise indeed. Whoa. Careful, Laura, careful. At last, she spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Indeed. Why do I do these stupid things? Shit! Oh, Laura, watch your mouth. Croft chuckles at her audacity. <laughs> She's close now. We could have died. What else is around here? Obviously we go in there, but I would like to look and see. Is there anything else? Okay. This one's pretty straightforward here. At last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. Wow. Lots of interesting things in here. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I want 30 north, white queen 90 lonely. east. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So we know that the globe is probably the... Thirty North. Ninety East. Light unlock her love's release. It worked. Mm -hmm. We can move all these guys around, and we can actually go around and look at all of these. A shepherd to a king. Imagine that. But well, we won't bore everybody with the. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? I think so. I know the queen is back here. Nice. Fourteenth century barding. 
Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. Probably. It's better than being dead. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, This is the first trouble she has given me. The sun king, Louis the Fourteenth, married Maria Theresa. Need to find the white queen. Okay, so we see over there how they need to be arranged. Let's go up here and figure out which direction we need to go. Like I said, there's all kinds of different things to look at. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. You can see all these. I mean, imagine having this stuff in your house. That's incredible. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. A letter from Dad. It's mother too. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error. Mm-hmm. Okay. The vault, eh? Mystery of the White Queen. How do we complete it if we... So anyways, there's like lots of cool things that are probably real historical items. I haven't seen items. the need to find the White Queen. There we go. So, check it out. What is this, a bat? Great bat swings on fur. Right. So we see here that we need two shields. Oh, the shields. Shields over here and then Oh no, bugger. Need to get that guy out of the way. There's one. Two. Can't he be moved? There we go. Pull this guy up. The oh, bugger. Reflects the light beam. Well, now we gotta get rid of these guys. Okay. Just about got it. Oops. Oh. 
There we go. There she is. The White Queen. Trapped. I have to help her. So the ladder came down with the... Now I can free her! With the light, so now we can... Go ahead and free her. With light, unlock her love's release. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Very nice. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. Locked away. The path was dark and is guarded. Said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Oh, yes. because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Contentment. Oh, for goodness sake, you don't have to deal with it! Dad. It's harder to find than what you might think. Okay. And now we know why Laura has so many issues. The window's open, though. The window's open. Looks like a posed suicide. Morning. Those jaguar, those jaguar uh, scratches will give you nightmares. So will the memories that she has as a child, I guess. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain. Yeah. Um, enemy awareness takes longer to detect than a floor. It's a threat. What do we have now? Okay, we'll go ahead and wear that one. And this was... Evanstar boots. Hmm. What do we have right now? Lower body reduced noise from running with floor hard to detect. Go ahead and make those. And these. Oh, they.
Hmm. Oh no, we're gonna stick with the Jaguar. Jaguar. Okay, how many skill points do we have? I think we just got one. So, several of these still only take one. Oh, so we acquired some of these. Very nice. Now they need to be adjacent. Let's just do that one. Reveal traps. Okay. Let's move on, Jonah. Let's go. We've tarried in this place for too long. Oh gosh, now I'm just going to be talking in an English accent. Well, bye, Jonah. Golly. All full up. Let's go, Jonah. Let's get. I think it's heavy. is around here. Jonah, let's go, dude. I see the way across there. Okay, we need to go to the left and get this little... I don't think Jonah follows us here. No, he keeps going. A video camera. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright, what else is there over here? There should have been something else. Uh -huh. The hidden stuff. Is that everything? Of course not. There's lots of other things that we missed, but we'll get back to it someday. Someday. Let's go with Jonah for now. Come on, mate. Come on, man.
Just busting into. All right. Jonah's like, dude, let's go. Like, I gotta find everything. I gotta find everything. There's a road. Let's check it out. Should we? Uh -huh. Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Truck stuck. Snow runner. See that. What are we doing about? Follow my lead. How the hell am I supposed to know? What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who drove onto a rotting bridge. Whoa, hold up. I got him. Hold on, they're friendlies. Someone should check back there. I'll do it. Put her right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. No. Wrong move. <laughs> I was gonna go back and look at that box. <sighs> Someone should check back there. Okay. I'll do it. We'll try again. Right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serving? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, man. Anything that moves, anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead more likely. <laughs> no thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. <laughs> Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. What? One became two. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. Alright. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Dave! Sammy! Oh, those guys. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! We're taking casualties! Where'd that guy go?
Oh, no, you don't. Fuck you. Stop. Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. Nice. I hope that's the last of them. That was close. Yeah. How'd they know to come here? I don't know. Not exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. Ugh, my arm is so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. Get all the things here. That did it. We'll make a few of these. Watch out. Okay. There we go. Burning embers. Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Noah. Or Noah. <laughs> Jonah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. <sighs> Hi. Hello. A place nearby we can stay for the night. How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? 
Yeah. Just the Have cook. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. And that's when Laura decided she was a third Where wheel. Where did you take this? <clears throat> Mexico. Why? Oh, I've seen this symbol before. Well, thank goodness. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Oh, now he works for her. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. Me too. Oh, that's cute. So now we figured out that she actually just uh, pays him. No, here, eh? He's still doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm Ooh. came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. Order. And then they were Quechua, and then after that it I don't know. I think I might know what that's like. Where are you from? Hawaii, New Zealand. You want to make a deal? Huh? Huh? Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? Come on. No, just I mean, no. through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Soda, muy bueno. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll find that. Two years I've been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway? <laughs> oh, he's gonna get in the fight. <laughs> who is that guy anyway? Hey, Hello? you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local? You want to get up out my business? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, Ooh. but his beer is piss warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. What a wise guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up some of these items. I don't know if we even need these. Hello. I see you're drinking the uh, Muy Bueno Soda. How is it? It's Muy Bueno. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. Yes, that's true. The center was closer to the plane. See, now we can... Been much worse. What have I done? Now we can fast travel back to these, now that we're in a bigger city. What if Okay, stop, stop reminiscing inside of your head now. Let's go. Voila. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually oh. see them shining there. <laughs> oh. The storm muddled the waters. <laughs> Oh. I know they're down there. I know they are. Mm. Gold. Oh, we're going after it, buddy. Give me that gold. What was that? Go down. There we go, go down. Is that just a plant down there? Oh yeah.
An iron mold? This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. Jolly good. How close are we to that gold? Wrong direction. Okay, it's around the bend here. Okay, we're missing the gear for that. Dang it. This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. Mm. Okay. Let's go see if we can't find this gold here. Not that we need it, but Okay, so I think that's, uh, maybe that, uh, that chest that we found down there. Right under another's nose. What did it say we needed anyways? Lots of... What did we need? Oh, we need a lock pick. Okay, well, I thought we could go back there. Let's hold in. Okay, so bottom feeders. One of five aquatic plants harvested. Okay. I mean, we could go look for that. It's all about finding these things. Oh, there's the gold. Huh. I'm going to take your... You'll never see your son and daughter again or whatever it is. Three of five.
There used to be a temple on the island over there. Mm -hmm. But all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. Hmm. Sure, okay. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense. But hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum it helps her relax. I'm glad. <laughs> Those are some massive fish. Okay, let's go see. So we know. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. And we know that's the chest underneath. Okay, so we need to go over here. Can we get out of here? Trinity's offer. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months. Provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz, Director of Community Outreach Programs. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, what are you to. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another, and another. Layers. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Okay, so see, as we go around and talk to people, we actually get... Helpful hints. We need to come back to the pink house eventually. Hey, new here? You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Uh... Okay, well, um, uh, good <laughs> luck with everything. Awkward conversation. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So let's go look over here. Surely there's some secrets here. Yep.
Cool. Well, we're getting there. So where is the guy's nose? Underneath the nose. Okay, well, we're right there. I think it's underneath, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out in a second. And I don't think we can go in here. Yeah, we need a shotgun to go in there. Yeah, we see that one. I think that's another way to that chest. Yeah, I think that connects back to this chest. Let's see what's up here. Eh, let's go. Let's go down and see. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. You're scared. Oh, nice. That would have been nice to know. Huh. Well, we're back on the other side. Okay, well, we found the uh, treasure there. Let's go ahead and go to the market and see if we can buy a shotgun. Or if that's something that we need to get. Silly children. Hey, what's up? Get pasa. It's always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. That's where I'm heading. So that's the temple. This is the store, I think. Where's the market? In here? Okay. That is the market. Okay, I thought that was further up. Hola. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. What you got for sale, eh? I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Yeah, what do you got? Hello. Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. Ooh. What are you talking about? What am I? I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured, yeah, never mind. Are you looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Okay, Omar so and his you have a shotgun. Money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. What about they shotgun? Damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Shotgun. Shotgun. Pistol sights. Hey, dog, I want to... Yeah, I don't, I don't really need any of that. So, so we're full up on a lot of this stuff. So one of the best things to do is this eight of twenty, four of twenty, twelve twenty. Go through and look at what we're full up on, and sell some of that. 
that way we can keep gathering and stuff and excellent choice enjoy excellent choice gold I mean we don't really need it so may as well just get rid of it a good deal for both of us excellent choice enjoy okay well we made some extra money what we're what we're trying to do is gather up stuff so we can get a shotgun um Increases. Kind of pricey. I'm always ready to do business. I bet you are. So. There's a mission available. Let's go. You got a mission? Just arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh... I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. A couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. Right. It's I, not your fault. I believe it. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about, me? Are you the mission guy? No. Omar, uh -huh. they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's all Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get... Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. Well, yeah. Desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Hola, Victor. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Right. Listen here. Piss him off. Who are you? Looking for work? Um. Who are you? Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marcus you get a tan on your face, buddy. Now, anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Okay. Dr. Marco. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. I'm working on it. Marco. Polo. <laughs> Ah, Marco. Polo. Find someone to replace you. Oh, what? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. I don't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, Marco, I'll... I'm not with Omar, believe me. What's this about your son? I blew out my knee, so Omar <laughs> took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah, I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. 
Okay, we're gonna go see Pablo. Head to the edge of town. Ooh, yeah. Deal with the pillagers. Okay. Hola, hola. Did you go fight Joni yet? Okay, let's go. Is there anything under under you? Yeah. You can't dive. Oh yeah. I'm assuming this is pretty oh there's the crypt. Well, we're looking for this mission right now. Hello, Froggy. I don't think I can do it, Vancho. Go on, it's easy. Just grab it and stuff the cherry bomb up its... No, does it even have one of those? How else are you going to shoot? No, I don't want to do it. It's mean. <laughs> we're trying to stuff cherry bombs up a frog's... Derriere. This Hola. village was once under the wing and watchful eye. This of village Condor, and all the villagers the have the same set of I'm shoes. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets, but the eagle took that away as well. Eagle. Okay. All right. <laughs> Secret revealed. Did you hear? I don't know. Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean. No, sorry. Yeah, we've already had this conversation. Marco so hot, he can barely walk. If we know oh. something, it'll only get worse. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Is it? Difficult. But good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Nice. That's called community. Is this the edge of town? It is. Gotta go find Pablo. Pablo, are you here? This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It in Okay. Is that? Uh, oh my uh, God! Please help me. Are you okay? They're coming after me. Are you Pablo? Jess. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Uh, Go Jess. Go in there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Yep. You Thank get you after. Thank you so much. Oh. Get after it, get son. Get out of here. Go. Pillager time. That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry, I don't know what else you wanted. I can't afford the people to stay late. Oh, I think there's a way you can motivate them. Shit.
You got something to say to me? Talking to me, man. Need to get back to the village. Well, that was nice. That worked out well. Got to get back back to the village, but we definitely want to make sure that we didn't leave anything here of value. Hola. Gather your things, I go back to the village. Thank you. Bless you. Can we do it? sacrificial knife. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Where are we going? Up top, eh? Is that it? I figured there would be something there. Oh, we got the relic, I guess. That's what, probably what we were looking for. I said, get out of here, people. Anything else around here? Just some cans. I don't think they meant for me just to hang around. Well, too bad we couldn't be here for those guys. Too bad we couldn't be more help. Oh well. Let's get... Make sure that we got everything. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back to the village.
in? Pablo? Yeah, he was running toward Alice. Good, I hope he's okay. All right, so we got that one out of the way. Let's go. Let's go back up the river here, and we'll go to the. We'll go see what's up in this crypt here, and then we'll. Hold on. Let me go see what's in here. Gotta go around checking everything out. Nice. Go. Someone has barricaded the path. I was going to say, I can't see anything. Okay. Map updates. Anything else? We'll we see that guy. Bridges out. Well, yeah, that's usually what happens. Oh, shit! oh, I don't think I wanted to jump right there. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. You kind of hit jump out of a reaction. Missed it. <laughs> Man. Okay. Here goes our next chance here. Whew. Well, we made it that time. All creepy. This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems. Interesting. New gear. Nine strides, a renowned mercenary. See if we could get over the top of some of these things. All right. Well, here's to assuming we have to go back the way we came in. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we don't want to go down there. Okay. Oh. Man, we barely caught that one. Well, here's to walking in the dark here. There we go. Nope. Dang it. Death. Sometimes you just gotta jump off the edge and go see what's on the other side there. This place is always so creepy. There we go. Whew. We made it out. Made it out alive. I can't see. Where did we come in at here? Well, all these documents now that we found, let's go back to the base camp here and see what they... See what the mission brings here.
protegiaste de la granizada. Pablo told me what you did. I, I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago, when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't Is that you a shotgun? Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. What did we acquire? A powerful pistol. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, there's some documents here. Somewhere. Close by. Remember, Javier. No more than 15 to 20 minutes per pound on the fly. So there's some. There we go. Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, Paul Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the Board of Executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action from the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Venier. Okay, well. What is this? Oh, just the base. No, no, what's this? Oh, well. That's the treasure chest. So let's go find the other... Yeah, what was that? Oh, just some sticks. Don't mind me, just running around. I'm just making some arrows here. So. I know it sounds silly given Hey, your letter's just sitting here. I've been doing some research and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. Nice. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 liter capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once hmm. we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. Nice. Okay, well, we know there's another one right nearby. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years. Yeah. And it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. Well, yeah, she said that they were. They had a lot of ink and pride. So let's go over here. Am I even going the right way? I didn't think so. <laughs> Kids. Watch away, watch away. You. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Oops. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kawakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. 
The results of this study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Uh -oh. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. Oh, it is man. most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. Well, that sounds bad. Oh man. These documents are all over. We can't go in that one without the shotgun. The merchant and then the eagle. So let's go see. Let's go. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> hmm. I'll be right there, Lara. Can I use my bow here? I need to take the eagle. You little bugger. Okay. Well, I mean, that was one of them. So, Eagle is still there. <laughs> okay. What's up, dude? We're going to go in here. We're going to go take a look around. In these creepy places, man. They seem creepy to me. Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Turn around. Eshel and Shakshal, the twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <laughs> The twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. Right. Stay here, Jonah. We're going to go ahead. See what kind of creepy things we can find. Well, that that, uh, that seemed to move easier than you would have thought. No, it's just a little pocket door, you know, made out of solid stone. The twins, life and death. Jonah, I found the temple. Great. 
Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Yes, of course we are. Drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. He wants us to search underwater? He wants us to search everywhere. Obviously, we've been missing something this whole time. Okay. So, are we getting scuba? Okay. Command, this is Dock Station. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Drones have been launched. They're five miles downriver. Signal is. I'll let you know if they find anything. Out. They saw me. There he is. Looks like we made it through there. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. 
We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will Ooh. usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Well, depending on what you believe, let's... It's not it's not not necessarily what I believe. Laura, you okay? Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey Jonah, I Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. Okay. The younger Croft is more active and less cerebral than her father was. Although intelligent, she is less focused on the meaning and history of the <clears throat> artifacts she seeks and more prone to risk taking. With no children or family of her own, she is free to pursue her targets, almost to the point of obsession. Although this can make her appear impulsive or unpredictable at times, we believe her drive and the balance of her personality will make her easier to influence with the promise of greater challenge and more likely to deliver results. Any information she might have that Richard Croft withheld from Trinity would simply be a bonus. We recommend her as a strong target for recruiting. Hmm. Trinity's well, there you go. Edge. Four skill points. If they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Reveal challenge objects while survival. This one's also good. We'll get both of these. And then, what's as far as inventory goes? What is that, uh... I'll just do that one, and then... Okay. All full up. Can't carry any more. Any idea why we're sealing everything up? Because Commander Rourke said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smartass. But you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the recon team gets here, maybe they'll be able to tell us something. Okay, here we go. Corvenir, this is Commander Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Rourke out. No one knows what happened? <laughs> Was there any indication what might be happening before we lost contact?
this fucking place. What the hell's happening? Where is everybody? I just went down and didn't come up. That recon team better get here soon. is around here. Anything up top? Okay, the perimeter's locked down. All we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground. But we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in a known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. I hate this site. Like some creepy ghost town. Jonah, Commander Rourke is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. Okay, what's... All full up. Can't carry any more. been a bloodbath here. What happened? I don't know. I wish I could get the uh, ammo. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Possible entry point <clears throat> located for temple outside of Kuakiaku. Excavation equipment en route. Nice. So these are the things we need to be watching for. We missed one. There's more up ahead. Where's another one? I thought I saw something else over here. It's just the... those things. Those boxes. Interesting. 
<laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's something. From death to life, new moon to full, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. Ooh, well that's what we're after, isn't it? Is that it? Man. I th I think he'll be okay. Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. Oh joy. A puzzle. Yay. So the numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Isha on the left, Shakshal on the right. Open sesame. Hello. So it's it's a clue. Steady now. It's a clue, it's a clue. So we want Four dot three. So there's another clue. Okay. So they went up one. So we've got three Bowl, bowl, bowl. Um, this way. Maybe. Yeah. You know, it probably would have been faster to go the other way. Okay. And over here we've got 3.3. .3. Or the four, and then we need three dots. And I think I picked the wrong way every single time. So we've got four dots of the line, dot three. Okay. Gotta make sure. Another door. There must be more to this. Right. So now we just have to guess what the last one is. We'll get a closer look. Huh. 
Let's get a closer look. Nothing. <laughs> Let's look over here again, rather than just guessing. So we see anything. There's like a line, or is that a dot? That's like a smudge. Well, maybe it's a line. It's the bottom one here. Well, we'll see. Yeah, that one maybe. And this one. I guess we could try it on the three. Part of the problem, too, is that. So if you get it wrong, you... Because that one doesn't show anything. Or the fourth one down. Nothing. That would give it away. Like it's been cleaned. There's like a little bit of gold right there, right? Is there? Right in the middle? Maybe? Not that one. But then there's this one that's got another line here. Maybe. a line. I'm pretty sure that one's one of those. We'll just keep trying them. Not that one. Maybe that one. Oh, well, there's three bolt. Oh my gosh, I'm done. I kept thinking we were doing the opposite. Okay. Dirt, dirt, dirt. So this one's got to be the line. So I, according to the other side, I should have seen that. I was I was thinking we were on the next one. Let's try that. Hey Jonah, any progress? Uh, there's an incomplete date and a 
depiction of Shuck Shell. I have two dates here, and E Shell. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. Okay. So. The last number on the left pillar is zero. The okay. last number of the left pillar should be a zero. So that one. Um, collectibles. There's our pictures. To find the hidden city, go south. Not that one. This In one. In the Maya long count count. Okay. So basically, that's got to be that one, I think. So let's try it. I mean, why not just try it here? Not that one. We don't have any clues on that one. So basically we just have to run back and forth and try this over and over again. So maybe that one? I don't know. Back and forth. Huh. I don't remember if that's when we started with or not. So was that the picture? In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2000 year difference and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So if this so is the damaged, then maybe the just the three? Maybe it's just the three then. If it was damaged to look like something else. Four. One. Okay, so if it was damaged... In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. 
It's got to be that one. The one on the left pillar has to be that one. Unless it... Okay, so let's look at this again. So let's say this is the same number as the top. What if it's just blank, blank, blank. Okay, what if I'm looking at this upside down? This one. Okay, Jonah. What's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Oh, well that would be nice to know. Thanks. A line across the two dots. Well, he just told us what it was. We just were struggling the whole time. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think I was looking at it backwards. Yep. Okay, well. Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth. Jaguar. A serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah, cat sculpture, big teeth. Oh, here, he's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. I think you're gonna like this. Balam is the Maya word for... Okay. So now we have to find another way out. Hmm. Can't quite make the dialect out. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to come back. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I would say. Hmm. Interesting. More skills, I think. Right. Eagle's Talon. Cool. Alright. Is there anything else? Yes. There's some stuff that we miss. Okay. So we... This shows a basic sketch for a temple rising from the middle of a... Okay, so maybe since we have that dial dialect... Let's see what this one, if we can decipher this one. Come on, Lara, move. This yes. describes something nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. Two guardians have fangs, two guardians have teeth. One guardian has both to better protect me. Oops. We can't really see. Uh, 
Ooh. At last. It's kind of hard wandering around in the dark here. Anything else? All right, let's get. Let's get out of here. This place is creeping me out, man. It's hanging up there. Who is that? Okay. Piranhas are kind of hard. see ah not that way I should have done my little look I think I'm going the wrong way. I need to go back and then down, I think. I think. I don't I don't have any idea. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. We need to get straight across. Are those piranhas? Dang it. We almost got seen. You know there's probably more things down here. Oh well, let's get out of here. Scary. It's scary in here. Can you go? Oh man, let's go. Whew. Scary. All right. 
Well, we made it out of that one. Hey! Jesus. Don't do that. Sorry. Anybody else make it? Fuck the final. Base camp. This is Omicron team. We've been ambushed. Base camp, come in. Anything? Quiet. I need to hear. <laughs> I still can't. Holy Christ. They're here! What are they so afraid of? I don't know, but I'm scared too. Shit, I lost my radio in the crash. What was that? <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Where's our backup? Reinforcements are en route. Then tell them to hurry, goddammit! Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Camp set up near abandoned oil factory outside of... Okay, good. All full up. Can't carry any more. Stay back! I'm warning you! Stay the fuck away from me! Ah! Easy. Calm down. Can you tell us what happened? All I saw... Claws. Teeth. That's helpful. Hey! Some consideration here. They hit us. Just screaming. Bones. It's over. You're safe. Yeah, that's what you think. I can still see them. He's gone psycho! <laughs> They're everywhere. It's all right. It's all good. We just need to wait it out until the reinforcements arrive. We're taking casualties. Fully. Oh yeah, I'm gone. Gotta find her. Fuck. Need to search there. Arrival is imminent. Oh no! Don't worry. Take your time. Fuck. Did you see where she went? Got eyes on her. Hangar in sight. Standing up. We're here. Give us sixty seconds and we're in. You men form a perimeter. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? On your left. Well, something's happening up there. That's what I'm wondering. I don't have enough. There has to be a way out of here. Maybe in the direction they came from. Ha 
Hmm, <coughs> alright. Man, I wonder if we are uh, almost there or not. God, bodies everywhere. Yeah. The creatures killed them. Like a Why? corn song, dead bodies everywhere. Jonah, Abby. Hey, Laura. I saw something. Trinity is being hunted by some kind of creature. What? It made hissing s search team report and findings. Sounds and moves so fast. Laura, that sounds like the legend of the Pistaco. You pulling our legs? No, I know what I saw. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on my way back. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> All right. Well, let me open all these up that way. That way we can fast travel to them. Whew. Hey, old man, you better watch the uh, watch the entry there. Okay. So now we have to meet Jonah inside the temple. But for now, we are going to call it quits. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And for uh, getting excited with us and then going through this adventure as we uh, continue on with Shadow of the uh, Tomb Raider. But hey, we will watch. We will uh, keep playing this game and we're going to do this one again. Um, can continue this adventure on the next episode. We're going to go ahead and call it quits for now. Where was that mural? We're going to call it quits for now. <sighs> but we will see you guys on the next episode as we... Uh, muck our way through the mud and try to fight find the monsters that are hunting us so hey thanks for watching guys we will catch you guys on the next episode bye everybody don't want to sleep in because i got something to prove i gotta take what i hate and finally make a move i think of you and all the shit you don't do, well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you. Ha!